In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate your social media even further using RSS and AI. Hi, my name is Tom from Okoya, and we launched a new feature on Okoya with RSS automation. And to just briefly explain what RSS is, it's a simple feed basically from 1999, which shows data that's being published at that moment. A lot of news websites use this or blogs, but even a YouTube channel like this can have a RSS feed. And the magic thing is with this new feature, you can use a RSS URL from any website or YouTube or a blog, and you can put it in Okoya. Not only that, but there's even a more exciting feature, which I will show you in the video. So. Let's just jump into it. So I'm here in Okoya and first we go to automation and we click on new automation. Now there's a couple of types that we can choose from. And in this case, we're gonna choose for RSS automation and we're gonna call this one TechCrunch. And that's because I'm gonna use the TechCrunch RSS feed. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't. It's basically a blog all about tech or actually maybe it's more like a news website. Anyway, for now it's good for our test. First of all, we have the subscribe option. Now, if we don't turn this on and we just update it now, it will just show up in our automation, but it won't actually do anything. You can, however, create posts. You'll basically see the RSS feed and you can create posts based on that. Now this is all manual and of course we want to automate things, but later on in the video, I will show you the feed. In this case, we are gonna just subscribe to it. Then we have a filter option. Now this is really handy if you have an RSS feed with a lot of posts and a lot of updates. And if you turn this on, you can filter on these categories. Now you might ask yourself, which categories will certain posts fall into? Well, this is something you can check later in the process. For now, I'm just gonna keep it off. I would also advise you to do so. Later on, you can always turn the filter on. And then we have the option, how to process the new feed. Now we have save as draft posts and this is the default. Basically what this means is that the post that will be generated by the RSS feed will first be a draft. It will show up in your content planner and then you can choose to post it or not post it. This is perfect for most RSS feeds that are public. But let's say you use your own RSS feed or your YouTube channel as a RSS feed. You'll know for sure that the thing that will be posted in the RSS feed can also be posted on all the other platforms. Then you can just use the publish on socials option. Now again, if you don't have that much control over the RSS feed, it might be a bit tricky because let's say we use TechCrunch and they post something weird, it will automatically be posted onto your social media and you don't want that. So in this case, uh, I'm going to keep it as a draft post. And then the caption option, and this is really a killer feature. You can generate captions using AI. Normally it will just take the captions from the RSS feed, but in this case you can generate a AI caption. For example, I can put in a witty social media caption of my maximum three sentences. Now you can also test your AI prompt. Here you'll see some standard RSS info, so URL title description. Here you see it's a launch, so uh, Okoya version three has finally launched. The confidence level, Beyonce in a room full of Taylor Swift's, queen vibes and unstoppable. I think this is really funny and you can experiment with this. So I'm just gonna keep this uh, AI prompt and then we'll press update and set live. We go back to our automation. So if you now press on your RSS, you'll see the feed. Now just to be clear, this is not filtered and these captions are not generated by AI. This is basically just the raw data that's from the RSS feed. So here you can see the posts that are in the RSS feed. You can also create a social media post with it, but keep in mind, it won't use your AI prompt here. If you click on this, it will just open up the normal editor. And of course you can use all our plugins here. And what I said earlier, here you can also see the categories. So this is really easy to see or spot which posts are which category. So for example, let's say I really love this article and I want more of these in my, uh, in my planner, then I can filter on technology. Now this latest blog item with the Lucid scores a win, that one is just posted. So it should be in our planner using the AI prompt too. And as you can see, life is short, so eat the cake, take the trip and buy the shoes. Don't be a follower, be a trendsetter. Now this might not be the perfect caption for you. You can change or adjust the caption, but you can also change your AI prompt and see what comes out of that. If we now click on this, as you can see, it's a draft. It also says approval needed. So 
So here we can adjust the text, we can save it or we can schedule it for later. Now, this is a really powerful and advanced feature in Okoya. And we are always curious on how the users are gonna use it. Since you can use any RSS feed and you can use any AI prompt to generate a caption, I think you can go really creative. So do let us know what you think of this feature. Don't forget to subscribe and then I'll see you next time. Bye.